Despite what you may have heard before, relying on just Instagram in order to have success when it comes to building your personal brand is not a good idea. But at the same time, it's not a good idea to be trying to master every single platform under the sun because it means that you're going to be spreading yourself way too thin. So instead of putting all your eggs in one basket and then on the other hand spreading yourself way too thin, I have a much better approach for you. Hello and welcome to today's YouTube video. My name is Lauren Tegna and the purpose of my channel is to help you build a wildly successful personal brand and online business using social media and dominating sales. So with that said, today's video is all about selecting social media platforms that are going to be the best for you to have success. And this is taken directly from my brand new course, Impact Your Social Media, which is a course that is designed to help you build an audience and absolutely crush it when it comes to monetizing your social media and actually making this your full time thing. Let's dive into the content that is taken directly from Impact Your Social Media and I film the entire course without any stuff in the background so that people don't get confused or distracted. So let's dive into the course now so that you can see a real behind the scenes look at how I do things. Now that you know who your ideal client is, you can understand where they're hanging out online. So really this comes down to you having a great understanding of your niche and who your ideal client is. Remember, you know what your daily walkthrough, the day in the life of your ideal client is. So you can figure out, okay, if they were just to have a break at work, what would they turn to? Would they turn to Instagram? Would they turn to LinkedIn? Would they put on a podcast, watch a YouTube video? This is gonna really help you understand which platforms are best for you to use. Now, with that said, I do think that Instagram is definitely something that pretty much everybody is using these days. Let's be honest. So that's why I've come up with a strategy for you, which is Instagram plus one. And it is essentially how you can create your social media platform strategy. So Instagram is a platform that I think you should use. Every single person watching this video, I think all sorts of ideal clients are now using Instagram and will continue to be using Instagram in the long term. Now, there are a few outliers to this. Let's just say your ideal clients are busy professionals and maybe they're a bit older, maybe they're above the age of 50 or so, then perhaps instead of Instagram, you should swap that for LinkedIn because they're more likely on LinkedIn. But we will be talking about LinkedIn later on inside of this exact video. But for now, I really do think the majority of people is gonna be Instagram plus one. And the plus one is either a video or an audio platform. So when I say a video or an audio platform, I essentially mean either YouTube or a podcast. Now, here's the thing. The one that you choose really, really depends on your ideal client. And I want to illustrate this in a few different ways. So let's just say your ideal client is a mom who has kids, who's super busy, who's driving around all day, taking her kids to school, taking her kids to hockey practice, and is in the car, spending a lot of time in the car, spending a lot of time cooking, spending a lot of time cleaning. Well, maybe she's not necessarily watching YouTube videos. Maybe she's actually listening to podcasts while she's in the car as an example. Again, same thing goes if it's somebody who is really high level and wants to lose body fat and become the best bodybuilder in the world and they're listening to really, really high level advanced things, then maybe they're listening to podcasts as well. If your ideal client is a beginner who wants to get into weight training in order to help them gain a bit of muscle and look more athletic, it's a guy and he's also interested in loads of the other fitness influencers who also make YouTube videos, then he's probably watching YouTube videos. So this is where it really comes down to understanding who your ideal client is. I see it so often where you, as an example, let's say you love listening to podcasts because you're at a level in your life, in your business, within your understanding of your niche where you want that advanced information. So you're listening to these really high level podcasts or watching these really high level YouTube videos. So naturally you want to create a high level podcast or high level YouTube videos or whatever that are really advanced because that's what you're interested in. However, this isn't up to you. It's up to your ideal client. So your information needs to be helpful for your ideal client and it needs to be something that they'll tune into. I made this mistake myself. So here's an example. 
when I was on social media a couple of years ago, I decided to make a podcast called Business Makes Fitness. This podcast is still going today. But when it first started, it started out where I would interview people who were super, super high level scientists in the world of health and fitness because that's the type of content that I was consuming. However, I was forgetting that my ideal client was girls who were age 18 to 24 who wanted to become stronger both physically and mentally, who didn't care about the advanced techniques when it came to training and nutrition. All they wanted to do was understand how they could become stronger both physically and mentally through understanding the basics. So I made a big mistake there. There was a mismatch in between my interest and my ideal client's interest. And this is where you need to forget about your interests, continue to consume the content that you like to consume. That's awesome and that's amazing, but focus on your ideal client's interest when it comes to your content. So that's gonna help you understand whether YouTube or a podcast is going to be better for you. And then later on in this course, we are gonna be diving in deep on how you can optimize all these different things when it comes to your YouTube or your podcast and obviously your Instagram as well. A lot of the information which applies to YouTube applies to podcasting as well. So if you do end up picking a podcast, then still be sure to watch through all of the YouTube videos because those videos are gonna help you get an understanding on how you can analyze your podcast and how you can create content for your podcast and all of that fun stuff. So these are gonna be your main two platforms, your Instagram and then either your YouTube or your podcast. They are your main two platforms and that's what I want you to focus on because often you hear people say, oh, you need a Facebook group, you need Twitter, you need LinkedIn, you need Facebook page, you need all these different things. No, that is stressful. You need to master two and then you can move on. However, I do have a strategy which I've never actually seen anyone else talk about and it's something that I've been doing for a while that has been really, really helping me. So you have your main two platforms, your Instagram plus one, as I like to say, but then I want you to have another plus one and this is your distribution platform. So here's the thing, you don't focus on creating content for this platform, but you simply use it in order to distribute. What I mean by this is that you need to create content for Instagram and you need to create content for either your YouTube or your podcast, but then you need to get that content seen by people because just putting it up and out into the world isn't gonna mean that people are gonna be viewing it and consuming it. So if you want to know about all things distribution platforms and how to do it in the most strategic way so that you can get the most bang for your buck, because if you spend all your time creating content, you want to make sure that it actually gets seen by people and it won't just automatically get seen just because you post it. You need to actually make sure they promote it. And with that said, knowing your social media platforms can only happen once you know what your niche is. So make sure to go watch my video all about finding your niche if you have not done so already because you need to know your niche before you can select your social media platforms. But before that, before Impact Your Social Media launches, I'm doing my free challenge so make sure that you sign up for my free challenge it is the first link in the description box down below which is a spring clean your social media challenge to help you actually focus on the things that matter rather than relying on things that are really not going to make too too much difference such as hashtags such as worrying about being shadow banned and all of that stuff and if you're watching this after may of 2019 don't worry i've changed up that link for a free workshop that again is going to give you something very very special and so much value is in there too so make sure to check that out give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you've enjoyed this i'm doing a whole entire sprinkling your social media series here so i know that this is going to be really helpful for you go binge watch my videos enjoy and get on it because I want you to be successful when it comes to social media. Bye.